What did you like about the way CC threw the ball? Made pitches when he needed to. Um, you know, str struggled a little bit uh, in and out of the field of the cutter. You know, made a lot of good pitches with the cutter, but lost command of it a little bit there too. But had the backdoor slider, made some big pitches when he really needed to, and, um, you know, gave us what we needed. That third inning really could have gone a different direction. What does it say about him that he was able to buckle down and get out of there with just one run scoring? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, the, you know, we don't we don't complete the play on the on the bunt, and then and then the play at first. Obviously, a big play by Frage there to get that double play, and and then CC made pitches. So, um, yeah, uh, that that inning could have gotten away from us, and that's why you got to keep playing. Obviously, some errors tonight, but also you mentioned the Frazier play. There was yeah. also a play by Glaber Torres in the seventh. What did you think of that barehanded? Yeah, you know, you know, a little frustrating. A couple of those plays were, you know, that got to be made, obviously. But, uh, you know, it maybe takes away from, I think, what were a lot of good plays tonight. Really good base running play, I thought, by Luke tagging up on that ball that Hamilton made the great play. Glaber with a great play on that barehanded play. A big-time double play turned by uh, um, DJ and, and Wader. Wader had a couple really good plays at second. So we did a lot of good things in this game, um, in a, but a couple lapses that, you know, we got to tighten up. Tyler. Aaron CC closing in on 3,000 strikeouts and, and 250 What's wins. He, he said 29.94 was the last number I saw on the scoreboard. Oh. And then 247 wins, I want to say. Okay. So, I mean, you got a good perspective of baseball history growing up in it. Where, where, what is his sort of place in history when you start thinking of those numbers? He's going to be a Hall of Famer. Um, you know, and to be able to do it, you know, obviously periods of his career where he was dominant, where he's that Cy Young caliber ace pitcher now later in his career where, you know, he was really able to figure out a way to kind of reinvent himself. Um, the cutter obviously becoming good pit, a big pitch for him these last few years. But it, just his pitch ability and his athleticism, as I talked a little bit before the game, um, has allowed him to still be a really good pitcher at this point in his career. And, and it's a tribute to to how good a player he is. Who else? Dave? Those, uh, the defensive lapses you just mentioned, you know, aren't unique to tonight. To what do you think the, the issue is there? Is there some overriding thing, or is it just no, Luke, individual? Luke didn't catch the ball. Um, but beyond tonight, you know, right. just the defensive numbers have not been... Right, I think where you probably would want them through. Yeah, you know this part of the season. Yeah, I mean it's it's defense is a obviously a very important part of the game and something we work very hard on, and we'll continue to and um, um, feel like you know after the first couple of weeks over the last week or so, I feel like that defense is really starting to tighten up. I feel like right now for the most part, we're running out a lot of really good defenders in in different spots. So uh, I think we're doing a lot of good things, but the 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 occasional laps i mean those are the things where we've got to be got to really lock in on finishing the play is is how i would describe it tyler again you were teammates with him obviously in, yeah you know 506 in cleveland he was just starting his ascent could first of all i guess how different is he now but also could you tell back then did you have an inkling that he might be that long-term dominant hall of fame type guy uh, you know what i you know i i I can think back his entire career because first time I faced him in, in Synergy Field in Cincinnati uh, as a rookie for Cleveland, and um, he struck me out three times, and I fell down the third time <laughs> swinging, and I'm like, who is this guy? Um, and then uh, I remember finally getting a hit off him in Cleveland. I got an infield hit, and I got the first, and I was talking smack to him on my infield hit. Um, but then getting to play behind him, you get to really appreciate him as a teammate. Um, but even back then, you know, he was he was so talented, he was so good already when I got to play with him. But he was he could be emotional. He could he could he could be his own worst enemy sometimes when things didn't go right. And now to see him still hype, really competitive, but really in command of his emotions is is something that's been been cool for me to get to see. Uh, you know, I guess in a way, his entire career. Anyone else? Thank you, Aaron. Yeah.